Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Turning Point Global Family, Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Altar. This mountain of prophetic interventions, whichever area of your life is calling for divine intervention, shall receive it today. Wake up to do your quiet time with God first as you wake up to see the dawning of a new day. Switch on your phone to do your daily devotion before engaging in all other activities. Listen to turning point first. Maybe while still lying on your bed, kneeling beside your bed, or sitting on the chair, pacing up and down, listening, praying, and meditating. Have a prayer altar in your house or your room. Prayer altar is not bringing an object to the corner of a room or handling an object or a picture where you go to bow. No, 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 not at all. Your prayer altar could just be beside your bed, where you kneel down to pray, on a chair, where you sit down or kneel. Or, if you have another room for that purpose, good. And if it is a family altar, where the whole family meets every morning to sing, to worship, to pray, and listen to Turning Point together, it will be beautiful. But please be consistent with time and place. Imagine God waiting for you there daily to receive your worship, and answer your prayers. It takes self-discipline to serve God. Please ask God for grace for self-discipline. Then read the short Bible study on our turning point daily devotional booklet, also authored by me. Pray the prayer for the day, and then follow the guideline of reading your Bible through at least once in a year. That again takes serious self-discipline to do to read the Bible through in a year. Turning point prayer booklet is published monthly. Available both in hard and soft copies. If you subscribe to it online with a token, it shall be sent to your phone for daily engagement. For subscription and subscription renewal, chat with Demi on plus two three four eight zero double five one double zero five one zero. Do so today if you are just hearing this. Welcome to Friday, the thirteenth day in September, the month we named September to remember. Remember great things shall happen for you. We are gradually getting closer to the middle of the month. God will put you in the middle of a major breakthrough this day. Now open your hand and heart to receive what God has sent our way today and be responding with Amen, I receive it. God will come true for you today. You have experienced God's mercies and kindness many times before, but today's own shall be different. The Lord shall fight for you and you will hold your peace. Who is this facing some hostilities and challenges in your place of work, in the office, in the institution where you work, or in the marketplace where you do your daily job? I hear God say, hand it over to me. I will take the battle off your hand. Yes, he fought for King Jehoshaphat and Judah nation. He will fight for you. I'm hearing negative, negative. Cancel the negative. Declare it cancel. Listeners, what negatives are you experiencing and in whatever ways? Negative med- med- medical report? Can you bring out the medical report, the scan report or the doctor's report if you have it around? Negative financial report? Negative. Academic report? Negative marital report? A court case litigation? A negative decision against you or any of your loved ones in any way? Lay any document connected to all these things, if you have it before God, or just be mentioning such things as I pray. All negative reports against you and your interests, cancelled. All adverse reports, cancelled. Anything contrary to your expectations shall not see the light of day. All evil protocol against anyone listening to me here is hereby suspended and destroyed. Who is called Taiwo? Who is Mary? Yes, I hear your name. I hear the name Chichi, Gozier, Martins, Lucida, John. Yes, one of your names is John. Who is Shade? Comfort, Johnson, Nosa, Omobolanle, Angela, Sophia, Onome. Who is Onome? Miracle. They call you Miracle. David. Who is David? Tunde, Latena, Bimbo. Udeme, Tommy, Chukuma, Jenny, Pamela, William, 
Brown, Akin, Chidima, Loretta, Ismail, Emanuela, Fuyike, Anslem, who's Loveta, Unduka, Debbie, Abdurrahman, Bolaji, Yetunde, Bose, Ali, who is Ali, Ekene, Jide, Ugo, Charles, Jato, who is Jato, Yakub, Juliana, Richard, Tobiloba, Coin, you answer Coin. These are the names dropping into my spirit. God said, I should declare you blessed. So I declare you are blessed. God is working out on your case a major turnaround, a significant shift in your favor will happen very soon. You shall testify not too long from now in Jesus' name. Listeners, whether your name came up for mentioning or not, God is working out on your case. Also, expect a major divine intervention. It shall happen soon. September 13th celebrant, your body prayers. Be blessed. Your body is blessed. Your new age is blessed. You will mark September 13th yearly in good health, prosperity, and in power in Jesus' name. Happy birthday from all of us to all of you. Listeners, welcome to day five in our one-week intensive personal and passionate prayers. Pray these prayers with all your strength. Everything you call to happen will happen for you. Let's start with Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 today. It reads, Wherefore, saying we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does easily beset us. Let's pray against besetting sins in our lives today. Pray it and mean it. Say in the name of Jesus, I receive freedom and liberty from every besetting sin of my life. I am born of God. I have a new life in Christ. I have a new nature. Therefore, my spirit, soul, and body reject sin. Reject sin in any form. I shall not live in sin anymore. I am delivered and I am sanctified. Power of sin be destroyed in my life. Holy Spirit, grow in my spirit, grow be, so I will grow in Christ. Sin shall have no more dominion over me anymore. From now on, I will live to please God. Sin of disobedience, of omission and commission, live my life forevermore. In Jesus' name, say amen. Yes, receive power to live above sin. Next is Joel chapter 2 verse 25 and it reads, I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten. Wow. Pray it like this. Say, I receive divine restoration of all that I have lost. Oh yes. Grace for recovery of strength, recovery of lost opportunities, recovery of what the enemy has told him. I shall recover all my losses by God's grace and power. I take back my stolen goods from the camp of the enemy. I shall suffer no loss anymore in Jesus' name. Say amen. Yes, you shall recover the years, the opportunities, the materials and the spiritual things the enemy has stolen. You shall recover them all. Let's take one more. Still in the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 10. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Confess these things into your life now. Say in Jesus' name, I am strong and not weak. I'm healthy and not sickly. I'm rich and not poor. I'm up and not down. I'm a success, not a failure. I'm a winner, not a loser. I am fruitful, not barren. I shall fulfill my purpose on earth. I will add value to life. I will make a difference. I shall live long and not die young. I believe it and I receive it in Jesus' name. Say amen. Yes, it shall be as you have confessed and declared it today. All you have confessed, you will soon possess in Jesus' name. We shall do more and continue from here tomorrow. Forward this to your contact. Let them also pray this same prayer and see the mercies and the blessings of God. Send it to all of your contact, beginning from your family members, your children, and your loved ones. Join us later this evening on our live broadcast, Friday's edition of live broadcast, on our Facebook, YouTube, 
TikTok, and Instagram. I hope I return on time from my outside administration today. If I'm unable to return on time, then we shall do live broadcast on Monday. But please check me up there by 8 p.m. today. Now, the usual time, like I said, it'll be 8 to 9 p.m. And invite all others. Tomorrow is our weekly Holy Communion service online. Prepare your communion element uh, so that this evening, so that tomorrow morning, after receiving the meditation and the ministration, you take the communion, either your alone or with your family, if you do family prayer meeting. Now, let me pray specially for these three groups of people today. Three groups of people. Number one, those who rebroadcast this turning point to other people. Those who invite others to join this global family. This family is growing because of your effort, forwarding it to people and inviting them. I will pray for you. I pray for you daily, but I'll pray for you especially today. Number two, those praying for me and TPGF members globally. Like I said the other time, if you wake up to we in the middle of the night, while you turn it back to your bed, just say a word of prayers to my life and TPGF members. It doesn't have to be a long prayer. Just a word. God, bless your servant, Pastor Femi Emmanuel. Anoint him. Strengthen him. Help him to do this work you have called him to do. And then pray for TPGF members as well. Three, titers and givers, seed sowers, battle seed, thanksgiving seed, partnership commitment seed, and your the monthly sacrificial seed like the nine nine we are doing this month, all those giving so that this work is growing. I will pray for you. Now I speak to the lives of these three groups of people. You are blessed. The supernatural and the mysterious power of God behind this commission will find fulfillment in your life. As you give, you will have more. As you invite people, God will invite good things to your life. You will live great to the end in Jesus' name. I speak to everyone's life today. Go and see the wonders, the beauties, the blessings of God. You will not reduce. You will always be increasing. You will not die. You will live. You are sick now. Rise up from that sick bed. You are healed forever. What God cannot do does not exist. For God can do all things. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. TPGF. Answer, truly blessed. Yes, you are truly blessed. Bye.